My name is Robin Tillery. I'm the Administrative Chief Resident for the academic year 20 to 21. So what really kind of gets me through my days, the, the long days, sometimes the long weeks, but the wonderful years would be my co-residents. Uh, it's a very tight-knit group. We support each other, uh, work as a team, continue to learn. We hang out, hang out outside of the residency program itself. We explore the city, go on kayak trips down the bayou, eat at wonderful restaurants and really experience the live music here in New Orleans. I am a Western girl. I was raised in Utah, was not even looking at the South. And a attending that I worked with as a medical student said, oh, you need to apply to Tulane. And I was like, in Louisiana? And he's like, yes. And I was like, all right, I'll do it. So I applied and I came to interview and just immediately when I got here and came to the interview, enjoyed the interaction with the residents and the attendings I met. It just felt like it clicked. And I was fortunate that I was able to spend the weekend here and just kind of explore the city because I had never been and really fell in love with it. And lo and behold, this is now where I've spent the last almost five years and truly couldn't be happier. I would say, you know, one of the wonderful things is we are connected with mentors from the beginning. And so your mentor can move through the years as a lot of times, you know, we come into residency and we have these ideas like, I'm going to do this. And it shifts as it should as we're exposed to a wide range of different, you know, surgical subspecialties from general surgery to surgical oncology, cardiothoracics, and you can really kind of pick people within that to help guide you. And there have been wonderful, wonderful mentors within the field that I plan on going into and those even without who provide research opportunities, uh, discussion about conflicts with clinical rotations, or also just things with life and how to try to create help with a balance for a wellness with your life and continuing to stay healthy and also excel as a surgeon and excel as a teacher in residency as well. One thing that Dr. Schroll, the program director, so she came on when I was a second year resident, she's been very engaged with the residency. There's frequent, you know, informal and formal meetings that are you know, kind of coincide with our education so that they don't interfere more with our clinical and our uh, surgical duties. They're, they take a lot of consideration into the things that we say for improvement to bring out kind of the best that this program really can do. I definitely feel that the residents have a strong voice in this program. We are able to incite change in our rotations, in our requirements, make changes within our education curriculum, work with the attendings to create a more comprehensive uh, laparoscopic robotic skill curriculum, uh, change our entire uh, education from you know one system to the next back to score because that is what the residents requested. Uh, they're phenomenal in providing resources for education, studying, abside studying, uh, resources to connect with different surgeons within the community and even outside of the community to give us a wide breadth of surgical experience. Wellness and residency is a constant juggling act. It's not something you get and then it's set. It, it shifts day to day, it shifts week to week, uh, but it is definitely a focus here to kind of make sure that people are going to the doctor's appointments they need to go to, getting out to get exercise and eat well. There has been pushes with different gym memberships, gym classes to be able to work out. There has been big changes with a lot of our nutrition that's available here. You know, prior there was a lot of of course, you're in a hospital, you're working long hours, um, high carb, low quality food available, and that has changed pretty drastically at most hospitals. And that is something else that they listen to and we're like, we need better food available, and they make that happen. Um, and they're very supportive with uh, making sure that we're also able to get to uh, our classes that we need to get to to maintain that our health that they find so important, and that is important to us as well. Oh man, okay, so there's <laughs> there's a lot of things, you know, you come in as an intern and you're, you're wide-eyed and you feel like you're just swimming against, you know, all this stream and trying not to drown. But then you really starts to shift even once you become a second year. And, you know, I don't even remember being a second year, walking an intern through a central line placement and just kind of that shift in responsibility. Uh, I would definitely say one of the biggest 
shifts and was just a recent trauma experience where it was a very busy trauma night and in the middle of doing you know an exploratory laparotomy for a penetrating gunshot wound my staff had to go to another you know gunshot wound activation and I was there operating with another resident and really leading the surgical procedure and that was a very memorable experience and I don't think that I will forget that. The two lane attendings here have been remarkable um, pretty much across the board here at the, you know the our mother hospital Tulane but also you know we go to seven different hospitals but within the city so we're able to maintain a home base and they're just they're very engaged they're passionate about teaching, they're passionate about getting you operative experience and also graduated autonomy. You know, they start, of course, when you're just starting out, really kind of walking through the steps that you're doing. But as you progress, very quickly do they move to the other side of the table. Even beyond that, as a chief now, I do cases and my staff is sitting in the operating room, you know, there for support, but they're not directly scrubbed in until I need them for a problem. And that is something that I think is truly unique about this program is that you really get a lot of operative autonomy, but you have the appropriate support when you need somebody with their experience to come and help you.